What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. We got week two of the season. The Atlanta Falcons versus the New York Giants. We out here on the kick returns. We're going to skip the first couple of plays on offense. Going to end up on this third and 12 because, like I'm saying, man, the big plays, they don't happen that often like in Madden 15. It's a new game. Probably later on in the year, they happen more. But, you know, we, we going to get there sooner or later. Leonard Hagerson converts the third down on the pass from Matty Ice. They decide to hand Daniel Taylor the ball going up the sidelines. Who was that right there? I think that was Julio. If he, Julio would have got that block, that could have been a touchdown right there. The second and five, we in this off formation. We going to go stumbling up the middle, tripping over somebody's feet, getting under everybody else on the defense. Trying to do that no huddle right here. Same play. They stuffing it. We're going to do a no huddle again. Same play, off formation, trying to get it in the end zone. Daniel Taylor is tired. We flipped it, though. Coming around, go to the outside. Boom, easy just like that. This could have been a late hit by Jason Pierre Paul. I know he lost his index finger, you feel me? But he, he don't got to do all this. I've been in the touchdown. Like, I'm in there, he dobs. That's unnecessary. What if I would have tore my ACL, you feel me? But it's all good. We get the touchdown. Daniel Taylor get to celebrate. <laughs> he wouldn't have celebrated this was Madden 15. I don't know why, but if you made a, a player in a career, they don't celebrate for any touchdown. It's so weird. But now it happens. Quincy Blunt tried to break up that pass. It wasn't happening. We are facing Eli Manning right now. So we got faith. We got more. We, you know, we feel like we can win more than that last game. You feel me? We was facing um, the Eagles. They got Sam Bradford. But Eli Manning, he's like on and off. He can be good, but then he can be real bad. You feel me? But we get this three and out, man. Vic Beasley is a beast. Getting this sack on Eli Manning. Somebody is frozen back there. He didn't move the whole play, but it's all good. Coming back out on defense, because I'm telling you. There's nothing interesting on that offense right now. We come up, get this gang tackle. After we come in, blitz in third and eight. The Giants trying to get this first down. Pat drop back, passing it. Eli Manning is about to wow for the first down. He ends up fumbling. You about to get hawked by Quincy Blunt. Who Eli Manning thought he was, bro? You're not Tim Tebow, bro. You're not, you're not Robert Griffin. You're not Cam Newton, you're Eli Manning. Quincy Blunt comes in, knocks the ball out. We get the ball back to the offense, you feel me? That's what we do. We playmakers. Playmaker Quincy Blunt. He should have his own ultimate team card, you feel me? We coming out, getting another sack, man. I think that's Vic Beasley again. They can't block this, man. I don't even really have to worry about blitzing that much like I was last year. And that's how I'm coming. Like, that's how I'm playing this year. Um, to play linebacker this year, uh, you really have to, like, know the gap to shoot. We get an interception because that's two turnovers for Eli Manning. Just saying. But to play linebacker, you really got to know certain run plays is going to go through certain holes in the line, you know, stretches. And you also got to look out for for the cutbacks and stuff like that. So, how I'm playing it is, is how I was taught to play it in high school, you feel me? Um, it's, it shoot diagonally, but you want to stay like a yard behind them. So if they do cut back, you right there. But look at this, over the middle, wide open, too much speed, get the touchdown. No late hit this time, no late hits. That's another touchdown. This game is quickly getting out of hand, you feel me? 14-0 in the second quarter. Tom Coughlin too old. He's just angry. It all don't matter. But that's all I was saying. Um, you know, that's how that's how we playing it. Uh, for run plays, that's how I'm stopping most of them. I got a nice run stopper there that allows the other linebackers to just go. It's basically a blitz play, and they just go towards their gaps. I go towards mine. Not using it yet in this game, I don't believe. But in the games. After this, I am using it, so it's all good. And you can see right here, I didn't go straight down because I knew he was going outside, so tried to get him there, cut him off, but it was all all right. We didn't get a big game, but it's not a game that we want any time. And for passing, man, I can't figure it out. <laughs> but that's dangerous, though. Like, after he gets stopped and stuff, people diving at his knees and everything. It's just weird, you feel me? But passing, I haven't figured the passing out yet. That possession catch just saved him from a Quincy Blunt death hit. Uh, <laughs> a flag on the play as soon as the play starts. We're going to do the screen anyway. 
tried to press X to get the run after catch, ended up diving, but it's all good. So um, the passing, I really do try to, to press a lot, but sometimes that messes me up. You really have to know the route combinations, because if you know the route combinations on certain plays, then you can see one route by one one wide receiver, and it might not be even the one you're guarding, you know his route, you feel me? So if you get all that stuff down, get that down, then it'd definitely be better in pass coverage. You can see, I didn't go straight down, he's going to the outside, we catch up to him. That's the touchdown saving tag. He tried to hurdle Quincy Blunt, but we hawked him down. We, we, we hawk people down, you feel me? We save plays, we make plays, that's all we do. Somebody got faded right there. Number 32 got trucked with a block, ended up getting put on his ass, and it's over for that, you feel me? Um, we gonna come up again. This time I saw a handoff coming up the middle. I'm going straight up the middle where the gap is at. Unfortunately, we hit him in the front he fell forward somehow still i don't know but it's all good 14 to 3 we backed up on the three yard line getting the first down though was all good we we don't never worry about that we got daniel taylor in the backfield 100 rushing yards milestone goal complete but now we gonna go back to the screen play finally get the run after catch i don't even think i pressed at that time but look breaking tackles they tripping over each other they missed the block up field that would have been a touchdown Somebody, the wide receiver up there missed the block. He came back too wide, didn't see the man. If he would have, that would have been a touchdown. You can see, if you can see him up here, ah, he couldn't. He ran off the screen. That was really the last block I needed. Didn't get it, you feel me? So, it is all good. You know what I'm saying? We are up by two possessions right now, up by 11 points. So, it's in the fourth quarter. Don't really need to score, but we, we trying to score because that's what we do. Dan Taylor with another run play, third and one. You can see he's averaging five yards a rush, opposite of the last game. Because that last game, the Eagles defensive line is something crazy. Now, we get the touchdown. Levon Toy Lolo with a 6-8 monster. Gets his first touchdown, catch of the season in week two, 21-3. This game... Hey, hey, he actually stepped out. They didn't catch that, though. If you rewind that, they showed it in the replay. He stepped out. They didn't challenge it or anything. You can't challenge it, I guess. But he stepped out of bounds and came back in. We go to the Quincy Bridge 3.0. Get the hurried up pass. Doesn't go anywhere. Third and 13. We don't go for it again. We figured that time. Now we guarding over the middle. Eli Manning, there's no place to go. He starts running out. We cause another fumble, but they pick it back up. That's two forced fumbles this game. Quincy Bunn is out here wild. And playmaking, we do everything. We do everything out here on this defense. Now since we got Big Beasley, we really don't need to blitz that much because he gets the sacks. And now we got everybody else coming in right here. Man. Babineau was on the trails. Quincy Bunn came in, left the zone. And we was out here. Look at this play on offense by Julio Jones. Moss and people, one-handed, two, he was double covered, doesn't matter. But it's all good. That was all from that offensive drive right there. We coming up, Quincy Bush 3.0, getting past the running back, throwing down Eli Manning, doing a little thing with his fingers. We going to blitz again, trying to get another sack. We dove. This is too easy. The Quincy Blitz is definitely too easy. We blitzing again. Stop. Stop. <laughs> the game is over. We win the week two matchup to put us at one and one. 24 to three. Eli Manning taking beatings. Quincy Blunt blitzing, playmaking. Daniel Taylor is starting to get up there. Had a couple big plays this game. Could have had a couple more big plays. Could have had a couple more touchdowns if it was only for one block. But it's all good, man. Everything's good. One and one. We gonna make it to the playoffs, man. I don't see us losing no more matches, no more games. Daniel Taylor right here getting tackled. That was that missed block. If he ain't missed that block, touchdown. Leonard Hangerson doing big. But this video is about to end. Julio Jones, State Moss, and people. But always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.